Hey friends, so today we're going to take our refrigerator from this hot mess to this nice organized refrigerator where we can actually see what we have and not let anything go to waste. So oddly enough, I'm going to start with my eggs. This right here is the Egg Minder. I think it's by GE. I got this on Amazon. I think they're around like 50 bucks, but I definitely got mine for a lot cheaper. I know this seems like a silly piece of tech, but it stores your eggs beautifully. And I'm never in a situation where I'm wondering if I have eggs. When we get down to our last two eggs, it sends a reminder to our phones. And so we can buy more eggs and it holds a baker dozen plus one. So we can store literally all our eggs with no problem in a beautiful organized container. So my refrigerator always looks nice when I have eggs in it now. eggs are all sorted out I'm just gonna pull everything out the refrigerator so I have a nice clean slate it's just a lot easier to organize dealing with a clean space than trying to move things around in a tight refrigerator because my refrigerator is super super tight by the way if you hear a lot of banging around that is my son he is supervising me like always and so I'm going to try to keep it as quiet as possible but there's not much I can do so now I'm just doing a quick spray down on the refrigerator I am not doing a deep clean because I already did that at the beginning of this year I highly suggest that you deep clean your refrigerators once a month though if you haven't read my blog post nine things you forgot to clean for 2019 I highly suggest you do so because there's a lot of things people forget that you want to clean on a regular basis and I have it all laid out nice and neat for you guys so I had to take a little break to get Edison his snacks because my supervisor woke up but that is life isn't it also, I wanted to take some time just to slow things back down and say thank you guys so much for helping me hit 500 subbies. I really started doing YouTube two years ago and then I got pregnant and just didn't have the energy for it, but so many of you guys still stayed in contact with me and checked in on me and it really means so much and so I'm so happy just to be getting back in the community and just meeting so many more new people and sharing our lives together. Like, it honestly makes staying at home and working from home so much better. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. So now that our refrigerator is clean, we can get to organizing. Now, this refrigerator is kind of a new space for me. We just moved in this house almost two months ago. Um, so I'm still getting used to like the tightness of the refrigerator. The refrigerator I had before was a lot lighter. Um, that said, generally what I like to do is keep my fruits and veggies towards the top and then dairy and any other fake meats or anything that might be juicier towards the bottom and beverages also at the bottom. So as you guys see here, I'm putting in in my fruits and vegetables and I'm just initially putting them in so I can get the idea of how they're going to fit on the space I will come back later and kind of organize them so they're better one of the tips that I have to share with you guys is that you want to keep your food especially your produce up towards the front you never want to push them down to the back because that's how you forget about them and that's how they go bad and that's one of the things we really don't want happening in 2019 but yeah definitely play around with the space in your refrigerator certain things aren't going to work out like this lettuce didn't go where I wanted it to go but continue to play around to find a system that works best for you by the way, these are my seitan loaves. I make them from scratch myself. And these are the scraps from my veggies through the week and I use them to make a veggie stock. If you guys would like to see some more cooking stuff on my channel geared towards vegetarians and vegans, let me know. 
with Edison's allergies, I've had to learn how to up my cooking game a lot, but I feel like it's been worth it. So let me know if you'd like to see more cooking stuff on our channel. Also, if you're looking to organize your refrigerator for cheap, the dollar store is your friend. I got these containers from the dollar store and they fit perfectly in most refrigerators and they have different sizes. I just love these things so much. So I ended up having one extra container left over. I had to get rid of a lot of the snack foods that I keep in the refrigerator. Um, but anyway, I decided to use it for my oranges instead, just so I can keep them off the counter and clear up some space on the counter as well. And I think it worked out wonderfully. So now I'm just getting the rest of our bits and bobs back into the refrigerator. Again, not everything's gonna be in its final place right now. What I'm really trying to do is understand the space of our refrigerator and how it is so I can put things in a more nice and concise way. Again, I'm working really hard to make sure things don't go towards the back of the refrigerator. This way I can always see what I have on hand and nothing goes bad. how messy that pantry is back there. I've never had a pantry like this before in my life so I've been trying to figure out what's the best way to organize this. If you have any tips definitely let your girl know. I would appreciate them so much. And let me know if this is just me, but I'm the type of person that when I have drinks, especially like canned drinks and soda drinks, I have to organize them. Like, I like having them color coordinated if I can, but they have to at least be organized by size and brand and things like that. I just think it looks so satisfying to look at and just makes life so much easier when you're trying to grab a drink. Let me know if that's just me or if y'all do that too. So lastly, just to tidy up, I'm coming back into the refrigerator and reorganizing things so things fit in better now that everything is in the refrigerator. I found out for this type of refrigerator and the pull-out drawers, I'm having an easier time flipping my vegetables uh, sideways, like hot dog style, if that makes any sense to you guys. And I can fit my vegetables, all my vegetables, into this pull-out drawer and still see everything clear up front. And I can even move that bok choy up, freeing up some space on that other shelf to go ahead and put even more dairy goods. And so I just went ahead and moved up my spices up to that third shelf. And this left some space on the water shelf so I can put the rest of my canned drinks and it all just looks so nice and beautiful and clean. organize and clean out my refrigerator you guys. I hope you found this enjoyable to watch but also very helpful and informative. If you did go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe to this channel. Also don't forget to check out my blog and my Instagram. I would love it if you guys do and I hope you guys have a wonderful time of day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye!